All right, guys, so welcome to part three of the Hornby Thomas project. So, the red's done. And uh, before I continue on, I just wanted to mention that I added a sixth stripe right here and I touched up where I messed up. See, I got some red on the blue here. I fixed that. So now we're about to paint the smoke box and the cab the coal and the buffers black. All right, so I think this Hornby Thomas project is coming along pretty good. So while I'm doing this, I thought I should mention that um, Train Voice 17 told me that he got Rocky for Christmas. That's something I really liked hearing because I'm surprised that he got Rocky. He does have Marklin. And um, he said that he might get Penn and Zack to complete the Modern Railroad Gang. Maybe I might do the same thing, but I do think I know what Penn's model is. He's like a Pennsylvanian tank engine. But as for Zack, I don't know what type of diesel Zack is. But maybe you guys can tell me. If you watch Modern Railroad, tell me in the comments below. Because I know Train Boy 17 likes Modern Railroad. I think Modern Railroad's a pretty funny show. The thing that I... My favorite part was when... Every time Penn crashes in Lawbreakers. Like... I, it's kind of funny how many times Penn has crashed. In episode 2. Like... No one has ever crashed that long before. Or how many times they've crashed. So that's kind of a funny scene. And I did see this sneak peek recently, and I noticed that the voice acting for Zack and Rocky, it was different on the original. But when we got to the episode called Welcome Party, Zack and Rocky sounded different at the beginning. As for Marklin and Penn, well, they're actually newcomers to the Modern Road crew. I mean, Welcome Party is when um, Zack and Rocky meet Marklin and Penn, the new engines. And um, I do kind of like how um, Train Boy 17 has got Marklin and Rocky. And I saw the video called Runaway, inspired by M Modern Railroad, where Train Boy 17 made a remake of the runaway scene with Penn, but he actually used Liam. And he does have some Modern Railroad rolling stock, and he put faces on them. I saw that video, and I thought it was kind of cool. If, um, I had to, um, guess who was in that video besides, um, Liam. I'd say Friss, Burl, and Wiss. If that's, um, right, tell me in the comments below. Alright, so now the black has been applied. We'll just wait and let this dry. And then we'll do the white running board and the tail lamp. Alright guys, so the black paint has dried. But before we get started on the next step, I just want to point out that all of the wheels have been painted off camera. How I painted the wheels, you might ask, is because um, I gave this model a few runs and I spin the wheels in the position I wanted them and then painted them from there. I should also mention that I also painted the side rod silver because Thomas has got silver side rods. That's something I forgot to do on this model, but he looks pretty good. So now we're going to paint the running board and the tail lamp white. So let's start with the tail lamp here. So I'm using this light white paint. Now, I want to be very careful here. Then, once this dries, we'll um, go ahead and paint some red in the middle of the tail lamp. And now, we're gonna paint the running board. So, I've mixed some white paint and some silver paint to get this um, dark white color 
Now we're just going to paint the running board. Now this white paint actually looks like Thomas's running board. So originally when they made Hornby Thomas, he had the same color running board as his paint job. That's something that is not accurate to um, the Thomas I know and love, and the Thomas we know and love. But Thomas has got a white running board in, if you watch Thomas and Friends and the TV show and stuff. But, so yeah. And, um, yeah. Oh, messed up right here. But we can fix that once the white paint dries. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, I made a mistake here because I got some paint on the black here and on the red buffer beam here. But I can fix that. So when the paint dries, we'll touch this up. And then finally, we'll paint the number one yellow windows and give Thomas the face in the next scene. Alright guys, so I've actually touched up where I messed up. So the running board is still white, but I am painted over it with red and then this black part here. And I also am touching up the dome, like I got some red on the back. But anyways, now we're on to the finishing touches. So what we're going to do is paint the windows yellow and paint the number one. We'll start with the windows first. So, um, while I'm doing this, I thought I'd explain that, um, Calvin Rogers said that he got rid of Furby the E2, but he is going to make Emma, who is Roger's girlfriend in my series. So, I... I'm pretty happy that he's going to make Emma. I hope that one day he will make Marissa and Rail Watch. As well as possibly Kimmy, Fiona, May, and Lady. He has Kate already, so that's one of the engines that I don't know what Lady's based on. So... I think Thomas is looking pretty good so far. And, um, one day I think I might make Annie and Clarabelle soon. And I'll be saying that, um, I am recently purchased a, a Bachman Thomas yesterday. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with that, Thomas, well, I'm thinking of removing the model face off and, um, the eye mechanism. And I'm thinking of putting a wooden railway CGI face on it. Like, um, I don't know how many of you have had Bachman Thomas, but if you have Bachman Thomas, did you ever put a CGI face on it? I saw that a few people put a wooden CGI face on their Bachman Thomas. Diecast Engines recently put a CGI face on his Bachman Thomas. I think maybe a Caleb Train made a Bachman CGI Thomas. Same goes for the train modeler. So, yeah. Right. Now comes the number one. I accidentally touched the dome and got blue paint on my fingers, but it's okay. And that is done. So we'll let this dry and then we'll print the face. Okay, so um, Thomas has been done being painted 
And I just want to say that after that scene, I am cut off the um, smoke box door. I used my Dremel tool, and then to get the middle out here, I used my red pliers for the 3D printer. I don't know if you can see this off camera, but I think the motor is in there. So you get a glimpse of how it's put together. But Thomas is almost complete. So right here is Thomas's face. This was from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. So I'll cut the face off and then we'll call it a day until the next project. And that was the Hornby Thomas project. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video. I think this Thomas turned out pretty good. If there's a problem you want me to fix, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, it's quite cool. I especially like the face and everything about this model. It beats the original Hornby Thomas by a long shot, even though it has four wheels. And stay tuned for tomorrow, because I'm going to make a... Um, video with my new Bachman Thomas and putting a wind railway CGI face. If there's a model train you want me to make, think of it in the comments below, whether it be Bachman or Hornby. And if there's a specific character from Thomas and Friends that you want me to buy, tell me in the comments below. I am eventually going to buy some rolling stock and some track as well. But thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.